Hey guys, Thunder E here, and this video is all about how the Snapdragon 855 processor powers the Galaxy S10. And you're wondering, wait, wait, the device is not out. I know, I know, but I'm out here in Maui at, of course, Snapdragon Summit, and Samsung's VP came out and said, look, we're gonna have a device beginning of next year running the 855 processor with 5G. Can you guess what that is? Of course, it's the Galaxy S10. Now, a couple of key features from the Snapdragon 855 processor that I think are really vital for the Galaxy S10. Now, let's start off with the very first one. For me, that is audio, and specifically, Aptex Adaptive. What I like about it is the fact that it allows you to listen to high-res audio, CD quality at lower bit rates. So we can have lower bit rates and better power efficiency to listen to audio, which is really, really good. Now, some of you might think, okay, how is that beneficial? It means, okay, if you're streaming audio and it's at a lower bit rate, you can still get that high-res audio. If you're gaming, you can still get that high-res, a clean audio as well. Now, the other thing too is actually fixes one of the, my pet peeves I've had on Android devices. I'm listening to music on my, my Galaxy Note 9 I put in my pocket. I start getting some signal distortion. With Aptex Adaptive, that actually is gone. So you put it in your back pocket or in your jeans, nada. You can actually listen to the high-res audio and enjoy it. Now, the second feature I think is really important is that under-display fingerprint sensor, which is ultrasonic. We've heard rumblings and rumors that the uh, Galaxy S10 will have it. And now, well, you know what? Qualcomm has said, look, we've got that technology. What's cool about this is that if you've got oily fingers, if you've got dirt on your hands, if your hands are wet, doesn't matter. It will work and you will get, of course, your fingers red and it's more secure because it does an ultrasonic mapping of your fingers, which is really, really cool and means it's more secure. So can't wait to actually check this out on the Galaxy S10. Now, our third feature that I think, of course, a lot of people will like is the fact that this device can now actually record uh, video with bokeh backgrounds. Now, we all love that as YouTubers. Uh, we've got our Sony A7 III's, we've got that bokeh background. You can probably see some here in this video, but with your Galaxy S10 powered by the Snapdragon 855 processor, you can actually do that, which is nice. Plus, in photos, You've got the ability now built into the hardware to basically take a photo sent from somebody else and adding bokeh to it as well. So you've got those kind of cool features baked in. Now, the fourth feature here that I think a lot of people will love, of course, is performance and power. The Snapdragon 855 processor promises 45% more power in the CPU than last year. I mean, that is ridiculous. It's almost 50%. And you've got a 20% boost in GPU performance. Now, you couple this all together means your gaming is gonna be better. You've got, uh, you've got real time mapping, you've got 4K HDR, all those fun things built in so you can actually take advantage of that Galaxy S10 when you have it in your hand. So I think it will be awesome to have that packed in to the device, which I think is really cool. And speaking of 4K HDR, the device now supports 4K HDR uh, recording uh, using HDR10+. So of course, there's more metadata, actually looks, gives you better video recording, looks really nice, cool, vibrant. I've gotta say though, that this thing is going to blow your mind. So there you have it, now, guys. That is what the Snapdragon 855 processor can do for the Galaxy S10. There are so much more features like HEFI, which is basically allows you to package uh, an image in a container that can contain photos, burst mode, video. Uh, you've also got better battery life performance on the, on the device as well. Uh, the tons and tons of features, plus new AI performance with the new, uh, the new uh, AI chipset built into uh, the Snapdragon 855 processor. So I can't wait to get my hands on the Galaxy S10. I know it's a while, but we do know now that this processor will power it and those features will show up on the Galaxy S10. So get ready for that fingerprint sensor uh, right there underneath the screen. Get ready, of course, for some much better audio, uh, much better video capture, and an awesome device overall. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you wanna find out more, use the link down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. This is Thunder E saying thank you. And I'm going to go back and enjoy Maui, guys. Bye.